Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I want to show you how you can change PNG color. So you have a PNG file, a pre-made design, and you want to change the colors of that design. Um, there's a few different ways that we can do it. The first thing I'm going to show you is in Canva. And then for something a little more detailed, we're going to hop out of Canva. So for this tutorial, I have come into Creative Fabrica and I have used this file here and this file here. I will link to both of these. Um, if you use my link, you can get these completely free. You can get your first 10 downloads totally free from Creative Fabrica. I'll link to that, give it a try. I'll link to both of these files as well so you can try them out. But here we are in Canva. So you can see I had taken this initial file and right here I did not change the colors of the file. I just added a fun background to it to just kind of take that design and make it my own. Um, I have another YouTube tutorial. Um, I posted it last week. It shows you how you can do that, how you can edit pre-made designs and completely level up and make them your own. I'll link to that. You can check it out. It'll give you more information on how I did all of that. Now this one, you can see I did change the colors. I came in and I changed all of the pumpkin colors. I gave it some blue and some softer orange. I changed the colors of the cup. This is not something that I could do within Canva. I had to hop out of Canva to another program. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. Let me show you what you can do in Canva. Okay, so I had this pumpkin and I turned it into this design here. Now this was done 100% within Canva and the reason I was able to do that is because this was a pretty simple design. There wasn't a ton of different colors, there wasn't a ton of textures. It was just a basic, simple design. And I'm only changing one color. The pumpkin went from orange to pink. Not a big deal. Let me show you how we did it. So first of all, I wanted to get rid of all of this background around the pumpkin. So let's get rid of that first. I've selected my PNG. Whenever you put a PNG in here, it's going to be an image and you'll have this edit image option. And uh, in my last tutorial, I showed you the magic eraser where we could come in and we could use the eraser to get rid of all of this stuff, right? Let me show you something else you can do. We have Magic Grab. These are Canva Pro features. You're not gonna be able to use these for free unless you have Canva Pro. But again, I have a link down in the description. Click that, you can get Canva Pro free for 30 days to try it out and see if you like it. Okay, let's do this Magic Grab. What this does is let you select certain parts of your design to pull them out from the rest of the design. I am going to select the pumpkin and I'm gonna hit grab. And it's going to pull that pumpkin out and separate it from everything else. Now, this is an AI tool. It is not always perfect. Let's see what it gives us. Okay, I'm not a fan of what it just did. And I'll show you what I mean. If I move this pumpkin off to the side, I've got all this stuff back here, I can delete it. And it did a really good job at getting rid of that. But let me show you what happened here. You see how the lines, let me blow this up. Sorry, I know that's really big. <laughs> the lines on my original pumpkin are nice and crisp and clean, right? Well, when the AI took it, it it jumbled it, it just wasn't quite sure what I what exactly I wanted, and it kind of made a little bit of a mess out of it. So, this is one I do not want to use the magic grab on. Um, for some other things, that works really well. It might work really well on this if I do it again, but I'm just gonna come in and I'm going to edit this using my magic eraser. Gonna increase that brush size. And I'm just gonna come in and magic, erase. 
Okay, that's about all I can do with that big brush. I need to decrease my brush size now so I can get these smaller aspects that are inside here without erasing any of the design that I want to keep. All right, erase. And I can see I left a tiny bit of orange there. I'll have to come back and get that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, now we'll hit that back button and we have our pumpkin without any of that background around it. Let's change the color. So we hit this edit image button and it gave us all of these fun effects that we can use, right? Well, let's come up here to adjust and now we're gonna be able to adjust some colors. Leave it at whole image. If we are dealing with graphics, um, elements, clip arts, pre-made designs, you're gonna want the whole image. If you are dealing with photos, um, actual people in pictures, then you can do this foreground, background business. But for what we're doing, let's leave it at whole image. You don't need to mess with too much right here. We wanna come down here to color edit. This pumpkin is basically orange, so it's only given us one color. That's okay, that's the color we want to edit. Click it, and here's where the fun happens. You scroll this little guy up, and you're gonna get all these different colors, right? Okay, so I'm gonna start with this pink right here. Now we're gonna come into the saturation. If we increase the saturation, we're gonna get brighter colors. Decrease it, we're gonna get gray tones. So, let me put that right about here. And now we're gonna use the brightness. Again, you increase the brightness and it washes out like a watercolor. Decrease it and it's gonna darken. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that right there. Not trying to be super specific. I'm trying to be quick because this is a tutorial. Okay, so we have changed that pumpkin from this orange here to this pretty pink. And then I just came in and I added some fun little elements and some wording. So to get that, let me come to elements, vine border. I'm gonna grab this one because it's right here. This is not what I used. Uh, it's white, so let's turn it the same color as the bow. You can look down in here and you can pick exact colors from this design. Awesome. Let me duplicate that and flip it. And I know I'm going a little quick, but all of this was covered in that other tutorial. I will link to that that shows you much more slowly and much more detailed how you can take these pre-made designs and add to them and really, really make them your own. Okay, let's get some words. I've clicked into the blank space on my design. I'm gonna type a T and I think I said pumpkin. And then let's change the font of that. Retro Groovy is what I used for this design. This one is what I used for this. You can scroll through. There are endless fonts in Canva. Find what you love, play around with it. A lot of them are pro features, but you're gonna try that 30-day free trial, so that'll be great. Okay, let's curve this. Effects, scroll all the way down to curve. It already curved it for me, but that's a bit severe, so I'm just going to decrease the curve on that a little bit. Awesome, awesome. The next word we had was season. Click into my white space, type a T, change the font. <laughs> no, I don't want that all caps. This was where you switch between all caps and then um, you know upper and lower case, however you choose. Perfect, okay. Um, that font was just a little bit skinny for me, so I did add a background or an outline effect. I dropped down that thickness and I changed the color to match the word. Perfect, okay, that design is done. Let's talk about this one, the one that I was not able to do completely within Canva, okay. You see, if I did try to edit this the same way, if I came in here to adjust and I go down, the whole design is adjusting, every bit of it, and that is not what we want. You can see, let me make this bigger. Even this um, shading in the whipped cream is changing colors as I adjust the 
hue on this. So that is not going to work for this design. Let me show you something else about this one. I'm going to change the background here. Now you'll see this design has a white outline. We have to get rid of that in Canva before we move on to the next step because putting a design into another program and then bringing it back into Canva, you're going to lose a little bit of quality and trying to get rid of the background after we've lost that quality, it's not going to be as clean as it will if we just do it now. So let's get rid of that background now. Edit image, background remover. Okay, voila, it's done. There's a little bit up here. I will have to come in and use my magic eraser. No big deal. Let's hop into this other program I was telling you about, and that is PixLR. This is a free online photo editor. Yay! What I love about this is I haven't even signed up. I have not given them my email address or any information, and I can still use this completely free. It's an online thing. I'm not having to download it to my computer. It's great. All right, open AI photo editor, open image. Go and find your image and open. And then it's gonna ask you if you want the full HD, you do, hit apply. Okay, so here's our design. Oh no, I didn't use the right one. Okay, well, you're going to download the one from Canva that you already erased your background on. I'm not gonna waste time and do that again. I'm just gonna show you how this tool works. Okay, so what I want you to do is come over here to these drawing options and you're going to get these tools, paintbrush, eraser, pen, fill tool, and shape tool. Use the fill tool, click it. And then come in here and pick whatever color you want. You can slide up and down this wheel, pick whatever color it is you want. I'm gonna go with this blue here, it's the one I actually used. So now I've got my color, I've got my tool, these things are selected. I can click into any part of this design and it will start changing the color. Now, you have to be careful. If you accidentally click on some black, it's gonna take all of that black, but that's okay. You've got an undo button right there. Okay, so again, just come in, change your colors. Literally anything you want to change, come in and change. It's fabulous, love it, and it's super easy to do. One thing though, like I said, you're gonna start losing quality when you come into programs like this. Do you see that? Let me try to scroll. Do you see all this like jaggedy stuff? That's just part of the ease of using something easy and quick and free. We're gonna lose some quality, don't worry. I'm gonna show you how to make it look a lot better. Okay, so get this picked or get this designed however you want it, um, all that good fun stuff. Save your image, come to save. Transparent background, super important. Make sure you do that. You can get three free saves a day without giving them any information. You might get more if you sign up. I don't really know. I haven't tried it. Download that to your computer and then hop that over here into Canva. I'm gonna change this background back to white. I'm actually gonna delete this. So this is the one that I actually edited and then brought into Canva. You can see I did delete um, all the words, just a girl who loves fall. I did all of that before I put the design into PixLR. If you wanna know how I did all of that, check out my last video, I'll link to it. It shows um, a lot more of that magic eraser and how you can get rid of unwanted parts of the design. Okay. So here we've got this. Let me increase this. And you can see we have that blotchiness going on, right? Okay, let me show you how to get rid of it. Again, we're gonna come to Edit Image, and we're gonna come to Adjust. And we're not gonna mess with the color, but you notice now that there's more than one color in here, I have more than one that I can edit. 
So you can use designs that have a little more color. It just gets a little more tricky. What we're going to mess with now is the texture. Okay. If I increase the sharpness, look all that jaggedness. It just got so much worse. But if I decrease the sharpness, look, it's going away. It's muting it. It's blurring the lines. Same with clarity. I can bring that down. If I increase it, um, I don't really know what all that did, but bring it, bring your clarity down, bring your sharpness down, and it's going to mute those jagged lines and make it look like something that's more intentional and more meant for your design. You are not losing design quality. This is still a quality um, PNG image. It's still going to be a high resolution image. You did not sacrifice quality. You just muted the transitions of your design. All right, guys. So that is basically it. We can use PixLR to get some more um, precision on changing colors. We can use Canva to change the overall color. And then we can also use Canva's pro features like the Magic Eraser and Magic Grab and all of these fun different elements and all of that stuff to really, really, really elevate these designs, take them to the next level and make them completely your own. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. We'll see you next time.